Well, hello there. We're back. And oh, where are we going? Uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere at the edge of the map. I think that's gonna be the the wisest choice. Uh, so somehow I wanna just uh, go there as quickly as possible. Interestingly, we can also portal there. So maybe we wanna just go toward the nearest portals. The thing is, we can go here and go to this portal, start looting things. Yeah, let, let's go make a, a rush toward the nearest portal, I see. I'm not even sure if, if I'm gonna... If you play with fire, you'll get burned. Not even sure if I'm gonna be digging. Uh, in the inner zones anymore. We can just dig in the outer zones. 12 damage. That's not too bad for one point. Uh, let's keep at least one healing bomb. Actually, maybe two. Let's throw a fireball. We can double healing uh, bomb here. We can keep the he piercing flames. This fireball sucks. Oh no, this guy's gonna have a bad time. Rest in peace. Uh, but this is useful. You guys might think like, oh, like, this is not cool, killing animals with fire. But no, this is just cooking them at the same time of killing them. This is just fast. Very, well, I don't know if it's merciful, but it's definitely quick. Apply Pyro Bomb on the opponent, apply Regeneration on myself. Ooh, that sounds good. Isn't it? That sounds... That sounds good. I like that. Um, uh, don't know about that. But this, this one, sounds good. Oh, fuck. I, I should start using some potions, especially the garbage ones. Let's dig here. So here, we would get two to three resources. Amazing, exactly what I want. I feel worse now. Oh, we got an affliction, alignment. Oh, we need to go back home right now. I don't want it though. Problem is, this is uh, messing with my deck. This is no joke, by the way. Uh, you can lose, lose fights because you have one parasite. Said that, then carried on. <laughs> mm, do I want to go there? I think it's still worth coming here just for a digging. Oh, Astor. Uh, okay. Thanks for that, Ashmaster. You're really lucky that you have an H instead of another S. Destroy one. Oh, crap. Don't I have that? I can destroy one random alignment. Oh, ailment. Yeah, we have that. Fuck yeah, that's, that's good stuff. Maybe we should get potions like that. We're gonna use that for sure. Uh, the hell is this? Oh, this is just Ash. Okay, what is this? This, this is Ash too. Same thing. Okay. Oh, I guess... We can go here. If, if you lose, we just die. <laughs> so, we don't have to uh, care too much about it. But we're definitely getting rid of the ailment. Wait, how much it costs to get a potion that removes the ailments? And how much it costs to get rid of it in town? I think getting rid of it in town costs 20? And getting rid of it with a potion? Unclear. From what I recall, most potions you buy in in uh so hot in a right set now. Of, Too hot for you. Yeah, you buy three at the same time. Uh, we get a uh, red Mr. T here. Uh, yeah, parasite. Can we just get rid of this? Okay, it's gone. 
Uh, we can fireball. I guess we got a piercing fire here because they have nothing else to do. Other than maybe blazing torch. Uh, uh, okay. Well, maybe keep that, but that should go away. Okay, set fire to him. Set fire to me in the game. Oh, that seems pretty nice. Yeah, I'm not healing. I have a chance to discard a card from my battle deck. Oh, okay, then. So he's finally going for a punch. Oh. Only renew all cards that cost zero mana. So that's not gonna work. Good thing he's on fire. Uh, let's get, get rid of that. Oh, this Ash Pact is good. Okay, we can do Healing Bomb. Do another Healing Bomb. Into... Just refresh some cards. Yeah, this Ash Pact definitely sucks. Thank you very much, no. Uh, he's gonna be dying. I need to do 11 damage on him. Uh, do I just do a healing bomb? This is 10 damage. This is a lot of damage. Ah, screw it. Let's pass. Do nothing. Okay, so we heal at least once, renew a healing bomb, doesn't really matter, we can renew a lot of things. Mm, okay, let's do some digging. Oh, f I fucked it up! Oh, I shouldn't have used the digging. Now we missed out on our chance to get 15 ash. That was a very expensive dig. That was just automatic. The succubuses are identical. I like a healing bomb here. You're already on fire. Huh. I kind of want to kill them. I want to keep the healing bomb. Okay, so I need to deal 14 damage, oh that sucks, uh, applying a healing bomb is a good choice, eight to ten. This is worth it. The damage we take from the strain is less than uh, the damage we would take. Okay, mm. try to kill the succubus. Uh. Just give me back everything. Oh my god. So, the game is getting a little bit more challenging. Okay, let's throw away a fireball. Okay. 11 damage would do it. No. We need 15 damage here. Okay. Four. It, it looks a little weird. But I guess it makes sense. He's taking 4 damage for up to 4 turns. But it is... It's not up to four turns, though, right? One is three turns, one is, I guess, up to four turns, yeah. Hmm. I 
I need to deal 15 damage here, and we should definitely kill. So, he's gonna heal me for 8 HP. In exchange for that, I'm going to uh, discard a card. I mean, that seems good. And we're gonna bleed here. So if I throw this, that's gonna be 12 damage. Hmm, still not perfect. We need to throw a blazing torch on the succubus to kill it. Okay, the succubus is dead. I don't think we can kill the guard. We can just apply a heal. I do like the fire uh, that I just used. Um, a liquid fire. This is basically 20 damage for uh, 1 mana. As long as I'm willing to wait a little bit. So, in a tough fight, it's uh, damn good. Okay, it would be ideal to kill him by waiting, so we also heal up. Oh, let's do an Ash back. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay, let's renew our health first. Then we can renew the healing bomb and maybe the piercing fire, then our health. Okay, fine. We can do everything. Unfortunately, I messed up. I do have enough keys for the epic chest. Uh, let's open it. Succubus. Oh, I managed to burn two of my cards. These guys in the back seem to deal more damage. Oh! When card is discarded, Succubus applies burn on the player. Maybe, maybe the Succubus is more important. Okay, let's throw away a fireball. It's a lot of punches. I want heals. That has to happen for sure. I can't really think about that. At least 6 damage. Well, technically, if we roll high, uh, we might be able to kill it, but that's very unlikely. I don't know about the piercing flame here. I need more heals, I think. Oh. The succubus got rid of the fire? Can I just kill the succubus? <laughs> this is just a warm up. And get our cards back. Let's just throw away the pyro explosion. They're constantly burning my cards. That's annoying. Okay, let's hit the guy that's weaker. Okay, well, all my cards are burned now, so maybe we're gonna keep all these cards in the hand. Mm. Well, one of them should die. That's 12 damage. So I can just go uh, piercing fire, piercing fire, and burn the other guy. But we need to Ash Pact. Okay, so more challenging right now. I don't want to do this. Don't be upset. I'm in more pain than you. Okay, well, he has a lot of HP. We need more heals. Okay, I, I gotta go back home and get some heals for myself. Because this is bullshit. Look at this. Everything is burned again. Ah. Uh. Okay, 
12 damage. He would not die. So he just discards a card. Do I care? Not so much. You know, if you want to discard cards, just do it. That's fine. He's gonna die to the fire. Hmm. This could be 9 HP. Is it worth burning it? If we burn this card... No, not so much. Ah, let's just wait. Okay. That's good. Let's renew this. Well, maybe a piercing fire. Pretty gold and I'm not sure about that. Uh, that seems like that seems like a terrible choice. I mean, this is something that you would play at the very end, but you would need to also kill the opponent. What? No, this is terrible. I don't really deal critical damage. Okay. I mean, we can use that. Let's do some digging. So, I have three keys left. Let's move around. Sometimes the camp dwellers procure the necessary materials themselves. The blacksmith hasn't forgotten what it's like to clean out the pockets of filthy robbers, although it will take him some time. Okay. So I guess we go here, here, here. Open the chest. Oh, they are looking for me. How great is that? Pretty gold and what? Okay. I need 666 ash to craft this card. To have a 30% chance to randomly kill an opponent. Non-playable. I guess. Oh, fuck me. I would take that. So, <laughs> I guess we can't go to many places. Uh, let's do a digging here. Thanks for the ash. Oh, we can come here. An event. During your journey, you stumble upon a small altar. You've heard it... You heard of it before. If you offer resources to the deity, then good luck will shine upon you in battle. Do you wish to try this out? In battle? Pass by. I don't need the help with battle. Oh crap. Oh, we, we already did the digging here. Okay. I shouldn't be coming... Yeah, I shouldn't come here. Although we have an event. Right in the middle of the road. Open the chest. Ambush! Who would have known? Who, who could have known? Wait, what? This guy's ambushing me? A level 1 illusionist. What? They're burning my deck? Renews a card from the deck of ashes. Discards a card from the battle deck? Why? It seems... After the illusionist dies, the illusion disappears. Okay. Okay, I shouldn't be killing the illusions. That's what I got from that. Oh, I take damage. Hmm. Because if he kill this guy, he's gonna be getting it back.
So, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about this. That's, that was a lot of damage. I'm taking 10 damage every time something is discarded. Can I just... <laughs> this is just a warm-up. So, he's done now. When the illusion is dead. So, we're just gonna... Stack... Wait, what? The illusion is already back. So, we haven't achieved much. He already stunned. But fuck, we're getting hit. How would I do this? I guess I need to do a uh, an ash pact just to get my cards back. Hmm. But I'm not comfortable with the amount of damage I'm taking. Can do a fireball and the illusion. So next uh, turn we can maybe kill it. We need more heals, that's for sure. Can we kill the illusion? No. So we're gonna fireball the illusion. So he's gonna be stunned again. That's healing bomb. Piercing fire. And after that, fireball the illusion. Then pass. Uh, kick that. So I can just keep killing the illusion, and he games keeps uh, getting stunned for it, but he still makes a, another illusion. I definitely need the healing bomb. That is uh, not really a choice. I can... Uh, well, one mana to get how much HP? Hmm. Regeneration. I see. 5 HP plus regeneration. Okay, that's, that's good. Restores 4 health points for 5 turns. So, uh, okay, 25 HP. Uh, I like that. I don't think I want more. Oh my god. This guy's so annoying. But I can't kill it, can I? Okay, he's dead. Wait, did I do it right? The illusion will die, which results in a stun. Oh man. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. Maybe I should just rush down the illusionist. Oh my god. My cards are getting burned. We have a decent time to uh, use the piercing fire. I'm a little careful about... We kind of need the Ash Pact. 15 HP, but I would take 16 damage. Well, I, I, I guess we can survive. Getting hit, but still. I don't know. Maybe kick both of these? Wow. 
So this guy needs to die. Uh, we need 11 damage on him. Uh, that does it. Healing bomb. I'm not sure if you need to stack anything on this guy. Wouldn't he... Wouldn't he disappear? Illusion disappears. Oh fuck, this guy's still gonna act, right? Because he acts first. Speed 8. What kind of dot chance I have? I could use some speed. Wait, he apparently has higher speed. Let's put that to the test. So apparently the illusionist will act first. Don't be upset. Okay, both dead. I'm in more pain than you. Uh, first heal myself. Always. Okay. What do we do? So he cut off my path here. Uh, we can uh, go and snatch up the portal. Go over here. We do have some keys. I don't care too much about the chest though. We have 22 ores for the blacksmith. Does the area matter? Because I guess I was in the mountains. Maybe. Maybe the area matters. So we can go in here. We can teleport back home. And try to go here. The only advantage of teleporting back home that uh, uh, I can get stronger. And now we have access to the portal as well. I don't really care too much about this area. But going toward the dungeon does seem like a good choice. And we can just go here. Okay, let's teleport back home. So this has a 14 turn cooldown. We can go to the blacksmith guy, nothing to upgrade. A trait would be interesting. Allows me to have traits. Uh, that would be nice. Because currently we don't have any trait and I don't know what else we can do. So we can... We can use the, the travel stone to teleport to... Uh, portals, yeah. Dismantling seems good. Okay, common chest can be picked for zero. That's that. These are interesting uh, choices. So we find more gold in chests. Huh. Okay. These are these are good. I don't care too much about that. Uh, set of lockpicks, maybe. Traits, let's go with traits and set of lockpicks. Maybe hiking tools is gonna be the next if we get there. Uh, traits wise, I think the max health is the one that seems the most appealing. I don't care too much about crit chance. Wait, what is this? Oh, active trait? Oh, activate the trait. So, we're gonna have extra health until the end of battle. Okay, hopefully that's not garbage. Uh, this Fireball Plus is garbage, unfortunately. We need to get rid of that. But, let's just look into other options we can pursue. Uh, not much we can do here. We have a Chalice. I would prefer the rest. Okay, that's a lot of recipes. Oh, these, these are my... My recipes, okay. We can buy potions. Dreamcatcher. No chance of all ghosts is reduced to zero until end of battle. Okay. Applying shield to myself? Now that sounds pretty good. Okay. 
I would want a uh, more useful potion. Goddess's Tears, that seems good. But I suppose that just allows me to uh, not get hit once. And if I'm getting hit by a bunch of uh, guys, then it's not going to be the most useful. I don't know what to go for here, uh, cards-wise. None of these uh, really... Well, actually... Destroy one random ailment. Keep in mind that the current healing I have right now uh, does 25 heals. So this would be kind of useless. Healing Pyro Bomb. So this would actually give me a heal and damage. Damage over time. Now this is... This is worth looking into, I guess. I have only one of these. So I can't, think I'm gonna craft it. it. Cannot be upgraded. It might be trash. But there's nothing more trash than... This detonates the Pyro Bomb, but I don't know. This is a trash card. So Fireball Plus goes away. Ah, we can keep the Piercing Fires. Although, I mean, if I if I really want the Piercing Fires to be good, then I should be just doubling down on, on burns. If anything, I would like uh, Liquid Fires. So I suppose I'll be uh, keeping my eye on that. Okay. Copy all the burns applied on the target and apply them on other opponents. But if I'm fighting against one boss, this is useless. At least based on the wording. Hmm. Not sure what to do with the ash now. I can I can make more fireballs. But thing is, I already have a lot of fireballs. If anything, the fireballs are a little awkward. Because they are very costly and I cannot use a two at the same time. Stone bomb. Oh, I, I guess uh, we can uh, upgrade our crit. Oh. Increase my max health by 10? Again? Can I just keep keep popping this? Or how does it work? I mean, yeah. Hell yeah. But... Wow. How does it work? So, we can open this uh, chest for free now. It certainly makes it more tempting. Okay. No. I don't know about that. Uh, let's take uh, the Goddess's Tears. I don't know if you want to be digging here. Uh, spending one day with the digging. So let's go into the dungeon. Oh boy. Am I ready for Heroic? Uh, let's do Heroic. Oh no! If the even the game tries to discourage me, then let, let's just go away. I know I know this game. I I tried on the higher difficulty. It was a little broken. Okay. So we can open this chest for free. Oh yes, we need this. Okay. Some, we found some ash. I lost 58 gold? Oh, come on. This dungeon is bullshit. What? Stop! Drop one fish egg. Ah, uh, that's... No damage at all. Let's increase my dodge chance. If I could get one more mana per turn, that would be helpful. 
Six. Okay, let's kick a fireball. A fish egg. Oh man. What? Oh, I fucked up. Let's fuck. Okay, we have five turns though. So I don't have to rush to take it out. I can just apply regeneration on myself, plus pyro bomb on him. At the end, he's gonna take some damage. I might like this. Pyro bomb is. Okay, that seems like a decent uh, ability. Let's do Ash Pact. Nine. Actually, uh, that was a bit too much. I still like the idea of uh, doing some healing on myself. Don't be upset. I'm in more pain than you. Okay, let's go for crazy heals. I mean, technically, uh, heals are the cheapest after the fight, but if you get into a tough fight, and and if it's not, not a short fight, we need to heal. Either we take a, uh, do the fights in a way that we just wash people down, but that's not, not necessarily good for prolonged fights. So that's a bit of a risky strat. So the problem with the pyro bomb that it just takes forever to explode, but technically it's dealing like three damage per turn. So we we get a well, it's not as good. It's not as good as the other heal because it costs us two mana. Two mana for twenty health over time, and uh, like uh, how much damage is that? Twenty four damage over time, but uh, technically it's only gonna be a three damage per turn. And the guy will be killed. Uh, can we kill it though? Okay. Oh, wait, what? <gasps> I messed up. Okay, fine, let's pass. Am I not reading something? that. Well, I was definitely not reading. Okay. Speed has been reduced. Well, walking around downstairs still costs us one turn. A level 2 imp. A level 2 hangman. Okay. Let's try to kill the imp. Okay. So he's taking... Ah, five damage. Look if it fired the guy in the back. Wait. Uh, I don't know. Let me kick this. Don't be upset. I'm in more pain than you. Well, it seems like the the pyro bomb usually just does like six damage six damage. Unless we blow it up. I suppose that could be an option. But that would be a different strat that I'm already doing. And transitioning would be uh, probably costly.
Okay. Six damage. Let's do an Ash Pact. But this guy's dead. For a heal. Okay. One more fight. Oh, we could just gotta find the, uh, the big boss here. Even a beast oh can be God. afraid of a spark. Uh, well, I suppose we should kill the, the smaller rat. The only difference between them seems like that the first one has less health. Very obviously less health. But not uh, so low that I can uh, take it out in one turn. Okay. We gotta do 19 damage to it. Preferably. right in the back I'm saying it's 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 humane like imagine if hunters <laughs> weren't hunting with like I guess most uh, jerks are just hunting with like loud rifles right I guess at that point it really doesn't matter what you're getting killed with but still and some like hunting with bows I, I suppose if I was really uh, in that situation I would prefer to hunt with bows or, I don't know, something else. Something that would... I know it seems a little bit wrong to say. Um, maybe that's that's why it was a good uh, good thought experiment for me. That Maybe the big reason why hunting with a, a gun would be... Would be uh, ideal is because you gotta make sure that the whatever you're hunting dies instantly. So, even though like you might enjoy using a, a bow more. Like, if you, if you hit someone with a bow... Then you're just gonna hit some, say, like an animal, and that animal is gonna be bleeding out. But if you just shoot an animal, like, bam, that animal's done. Oh, he's gonna die. But here comes the next step. What if instead of using a bow or a gun, you'd be using a flamethrower? How about that? So, your dinner gets done at the same time as <laughs> as as you're hunting it. But I suppose it wouldn't be a, a very humane version again. Spend one mana point, deal free damage. This seems bad. Seems bad again. I don't know. Ashen's stake. Okay. I wanna find the big boss in here. Where are you? This big boss in here is a coward. Oh, okay. Wait. Well, we can't kill it. Do I use a shield? I'm using it purely because uh, I don't think that's gonna be super useful. And uh, I wanna make sure if we find the potion, we, we keep it. So we gotta do 15 damage to that guy. <laughs> this is just a warm up. Mm, sure. Alright. 
Uh, kick a fireball. There's no way you can use that. Okay, let's just do fire. Alright, stitched. Uh, yeah, we need to Ash Pact. Right? So let's Ash Pact. I don't much care for the Pyro Explosion. I'm actually tempted to just get rid of it. Okay, he's gonna die. But uh, make sure that I get my heal at the end of the round. Okay. Okay, fine. I suppose might as well. Hot There's right the big now. boss here. Too hot okay. for you. This is my preference. Just one guy. Okay. We're gonna need a heal. I definitely can't use two fireballs in the same round. Uh, yeah. Give me back my cards. Um, sure. Actually, it's super likely that we get a fireball. He really likes burning cards. Okay. Can we kill him right now? 18 damage. I guess that's a yes. Mm, don't need to heal. Question mark. A new day has begun. Sure. Oh, the big boss guy! With his treasure chest. Finally, I, I was looking for you! Souls. Who the hell are you? Looks like some dumb helmet. Are you some dumb helmet? Oh, fuck. Last turn? I, I haven't spent any mana. Wait. Oh, this is my last turn, right? Oh, okay. Good. Let's pop a shield. Let's not take 25 damage. Okay, he gains a shield and increases my max mana. Hell yeah! Ah, that doesn't matter. But he has shield now. So we should somehow pop that. What a pyro explosion. So in this very rare scenario where we can actually double fireball. Oh, he dodged my fireball. What? Okay, fine. I would really like an extra mana. That would... I, I don't know if I would like to double fireball all the time, but it would be nice to have the option. Deals 10 damage for each mana spent. Okay. During the last turn. 60? What the fuck? So we definitely need shield. Shield potion. Uh, that's good to have. Right? So let's go Ash Pact. Regen. Didn't spend? Oh, this is didn't spend. Okay, so he's gonna deal zero damage. 
Okay, well. Haha, <laughs> jokes on you. With this. And it's gonna increase my max money again. But I guess people who uh, have a very uh, cheap deck, or I don't know. With zero mana spells, or I don't know, they got punished, or. I don't know, I'm not really getting it. Because he's just kind of helping me out. He's a little bit tricky to kill. He's, he's, he's a tanky bastard, but... He's not doing much. Oh, okay. Now it's gonna add up. He's gonna punch me for the damage I actually dealt. Seems like the longer this fight goes, the more dangerous you will get. 35 damage. Do I want to get punched for 35? I mean, I, I think I can get punched for 35. But I'd be better not. Let's pop a shield. I can discard that. Just play it safe. This uh, didn't spend the game. I think he's dead now. Oh, come on. Stop the dodges. He, he will die, right? Okay. Okay, sure. So, let's go with the liquid fire. care about that too much. Okay, that's all we got. Your fancy chest. 45 gold and... I don't get it. A, a random opponent except bosses. Unused mana, but I want to use my mana. <sighs> Maybe this. Okay, well, I did use my potions. So, yeah, we return more cards now. I just want to come here and uh, do some digging. Oh crap, he's cutting off my path. You bastard! I I was planning on going there. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? <sighs> the fuck is this? <laughs> Some hell hell centaur? Yeah, I'm, I'm very prepared. 140 HP. <laughs> yeah, having HP certainly uh, is uh, nice to see. Wait, what? All my cards are discarded? Okay, let's apply more burn. Do I want to do a pyro explosion? Apply poison on the opponent. Hey, why not? Enjoy. Oh, that's that's pretty juicy. I actually worked that better than expected. 
What is he doing? On itself for one turn? What? Oh, okay. Weird opponent. Okay. Just discard everything. Wow, oh, poor damage. Why is it just going to die now? No. Uh, we need to deal a little bit of damage to him. Mm, enjoy. those oh an ash storm oh come on oh the mine is closed ash chalice I definitely want to dig right, let's come let's get into a fight I'm not sure what to go for here seems like I just have resources to do nothing with Maybe I can transition my strategy or be forced to transition my strategy eventually, but it's definitely not obvious right now. Well, I know what to do with the gold, I guess. The fuck is this? Spore head? What was the design behind this game? <laughs> I, ha I have an idea, okay? I have an idea. You guys can guess. Do a pyro explosion. Mm, sure. Yeah, just set him on fire. Go for heal and piercing fire. Why not? I I just want to double down on fire. Everything that's not fire can just fuck right off. Everything that's not fire or big heal. Uh, I don't care. Alright, I like these. Maybe not the healing bomb. Oh, this is good. But it's not as good. Well, I don't know. I prefer the liquid fire. Over time, the liquid fire does as much as a fireball. It also makes the piercing strikes better. Okay, let's kick that. Hmm, that's true. I could use a renew. Won't he die? Yep. <laughs> okay, well, there's nothing else to do. Mm, okay, just come up, come over. He found some ash. Do you want to dig here? Not really. <laughs> On your path, you suddenly meet the Herbalist. She will do everything in her power to fight any ailments. Okay, cure an ailment, but I don't have any. I guess I can dig. Get into more battles. What the fuck is up with you? That kind of looks a little goofy. Okay. Just apply damage over time for now. Um, these are all good. Maybe keep it. What the fuck? You guys need to die. No, 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 no. I don't like this. We 
We gotta kill the succubuses. Maybe kick one of the healing bombs. Okay, let's go for big fire. <laughs> this is just a warm up. That's fine, we can keep that. Applies to bleed. Nah. Okay, he always goes for the summon if there are no more succubi left. Okay, just try to murder him. Uh, let's get close. Okay, we definitely need to draw. This is a little unfortunate. Just hit one of the succubuses. I don't know about this. Just get rid of it. Yeah, just burn my cards, succubuses. Yeah, but we just get burned. Uh, that's not great. Okay, we want to stack uh, these uh, piercing fires on him next turn. Maybe even kill. Maybe that even kills him. If nothing else, we can do fireball, piercing fire, piercing fire. Okay, succubus. Your turn now. Ooh, look at that. I gotta say, she does look like a succubus. Well, it doesn't sound like one. <laughs> okay, what the fuck do we have here? Do some digging. Where can we portal? What do we want to do? Okay, well, I can come here. I guess I'm just gonna explore the whole place. Trade? Do I want... Oh, crap. I only get one potion if we are trading outside? Draw a strike card? Drawing is not that valuable. Wait, how good is bleed? Oh, I see. So bleed deals 1 damage for 3 turns. Uh, burn deals 2 damage for 4 turns. And poison deals 4 damage for 4 turns. Oh, okay. And the bleed... Ends up dealing more damage if you deal strike damage. Okay, well, the thing is, I, I, I do strike quite a bit, but not all the time. I don't know if a bleed is the choice for me. Overall, I'm not super interested in these. So, no tanks. What is this? Potion of slot? No! Random ailments? Are you crazy? Can we teleport back home? Because if not, we're gonna be in uh, just uh, trapped. What the is going on here? They're already punching me. Which one is the most dangerous? Oh fuck. We get malaria. If we don't kill the, this guy in the middle first. So, well, that's an easy choice. I'm not even sure what that does, but I don't, definitely don't want it. 
It's definitely not good for me. <laughs> Don't be upset. I'm in more pain than you. Okay, let's go for heal. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Healing Pyro Bomb could be okay. Could be acceptable. Uh, we can kill the use. Okay, Stitch, you're last. Uh, none of these are the answers I'm looking for. We can't kill him. Is a fireball enough? Yeah, he dies. A fun zombie. Okay, let's go for a heal. Um. Oh yeah, we got one more point. Uh, we can teleport. Uh, let's dig. Start the battle. Swamps burn so well. Okay. Some. Scorpion guy. Let's start with a fireball. I guess we are doing piercing fires. Yeah, this fire explosion is annoying. Now, if he had something else instead, like that would be really nice. But pyro explosion didn't help. And also, the blazing torch is not helping me anymore. Maybe I should just uh, scrap it. Scrapping that. The pyro explosion is annoying. Well, let's play it now. But overall, it's more in the the way than helpful. I'm a little cautious about burning the Blazing Torch because ultimately it's not a useless card, but it's not a very useful one either. 21. Okay, I'll just pass. Game. Yeah, that place doesn't matter. No! So we can get some ash. We only have access to ash. Let's go for the ash. Now, do I want to go back home? Seems like there is a, a location here. And that I might want to ex explore. No, there was nothing there. We can go for a fight. Don't I just teleport back home? You'll make a good bonfire. Okay, easy fight. Oh fuck! What? What? They gave me a parasite as a start. You bastards! I managed to go this far without infections, and now. I got one right away. I can't even get rid of it. I'm gonna just gonna get it right back. Because that's how it works. Okay. No? It's in my yeah, it's my in my battle deck, so. Okay. So we gotta do At least eight damage on him, right? No, it's gotta be ten. It's gotta be ten damage. Okay, 
Okay, let's go for here. <laughs> this is just a warm Random up. human strength by two. It's a little weak. Ah, uh, we can go for a healing pyre bomb. Get rid of these two. Oh, what? I left the Satyr alone. Uh, we probably shouldn't do that. Okay, well, let's do Ash Pact. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're discarding the Parasite. Oh, come on, obsessed. Fireball for you. Ah, well, the torch would have been uh, better in this case. But it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's do... No, this is a crappy area. Did I just teleport back home? I explored that. I just teleport back home. So we have 300 gold, 260 ash, Putri uh, purifying pyro bomb. Okay, this one negative effect. Random opponent. Uh, I don't care much for pyro bomb. I wanna set people on fire. What? Draw rare. I don't care. This is trash because the card itself doesn't do anything other than draws me a card. Meh. Trick potion? Yeah, but this is this card. This wouldn't get rid of. Mana potion. Oh, that's 90 mana? That's a little... Uh, more serious. All of these are garbage, man. I can sell my recipes, but these are garbage too. Uh, I I know one of them is not garbage, the liquid fire. All right, or, I, or I'm missing something. Herbalist, don't care. Oh, what what's going on here? Improved immunity allows you to cure parasites. You will also you will also no longer be afflicted with ailments during events. Really? We need this for sure. So I can keep buying health. I can also... Yeah, I mean, if I unlock uh, the improved stats. But the thing is... It seems like it doesn't get any more expensive. So I can just keep buying the ones that I already like. I can just keep buying myself HP. And I like HP a lot. And there's no point buying ever, ever buying dodge. So just keep buying HP. What about the blacksmith guy? Yeah, there's nothing to upgrade, and that's annoying. This costs me money. We have some chalices. Improve exchange rate. Twice as lucrative? How so? Ah, uh, so it's like a one-to-one -one ratio? Sell resources for gold. Oh, that's that's good, right? Because gold is valuable, but I mean, at the same time, uh, we are not quite there yet to sell the resources. So, I mean, that is just something to do later. Okay, so I can buy more stuff. I can buy rarer stuff, but it seems like the rarity doesn't really uh, make it uh, any better. So we got we're gonna have more rest points. I don't know about the improved exchange rate. I don't care about that right now. So, let's just rest better. Hiking tools. Increase the amount of gold found in chests by 50%. Increase the number of recipes you can choose from uh, by one. 
or buy two for common chest. Uh, this seems like the the right choice. Uh, but you probably want to upgrade the ta travel stone too. Now we have a choice of dismantling cards. I'm not a fan of pyro explosion, and I'm on the fence about the. Both the healing pyro bomb. Wait, I don't think it's possible to get rid of the torch. Well, I guess I don't have to be thinking about that. One well, for sure, we want to go for a heal. And I can't go for another heal. Okay, so this is an easy choice. So we're going to be going for a discard, uh, dismantle. We are dismantling the pyro explosion. Dismantle. Um, I'm not sure what else. Oh yeah, card. No, no, no. Card craft. A liquid fire. Craft it. Upgrade it to double liquid fire. I don't care about discarding. Now this is good. This is what I want. What else? Restore one health point at the end of your turn for every applied pyro bomb. I don't... The Ash doesn't really work so well for me, because it needs to be in the deck of Ashes, but uh, I would redraw it. So anything that has the Ash in it is not gonna work. No. Each bird applied on me? What the fuck is that? I, I don't get it. Like, it, unless the wording is wrong, and it means each, wor each bird that I, I applied on others, Deals 5 damage to an opponent, discard a random card, bring you a random card. No, this is no good. This is just deal 5 damage. I suppose this would make some sense if we had a bunch of Phoenix cards. Dispel shields from all characters, renew 2 random cards for each... Oh no, terrible. No, terrible. Drawing is pointless. Copy all burns applied on the target and apply them on the other. Now, if I knew that this also applied the burns on other, on on that target to that target again, then yeah, it would work. But at this point, just seeing how it was programmed it would give me more information than the damn description. But I suppose I should trust the description. Uh, Stumble. If I just tr trust the description, then it's not worth it. I mean, that's a little. Annoying that I just have all these cards and not one of them is worth crafting If a monster takes critical damage, I mean that's just chance based obviously garbage. I mean burnout is the only one that I'm thinking about But Keep in mind this is this is something that we would play once and many times I mean this would this would be only even worth considering in a super long fight, but even then it's like no no, 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 it's it's not worth it, right? We would need to have a super expensive uh, mana uh, skill. Because, yeah, I mean, we play this for free mana. And let's just say we would play a uh, fireball for free because of that. But we, we still wasted this uh, card. And even mana-wise, we are not one step ahead. I would need to refresh that fireball. And then we would be able to start playing it for free, right? I, I, I think it has potential, but I mean, in a, in a long, 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 long fight, very long fight. And only for the fireballs. A anything else is like, uh, no, 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 no. I, I think burnout can be considered. Should, should I just have that, just for uh, sake of variety? Now let's fucking do it. It cannot be upgraded, but we now have it. Worst case, I guess we're gonna dismantle it. So we can open this for free. I'm a little tempted to do that. Apply three burns to the target if it doesn't have any. Uh, 
Let's do that. Let's take that. Okay. Well, I'm not sure where to go. Oh, there's another dungeon here? I'm dumb. I know exactly where to go. Steal the backpack. I didn't realize there was another dungeon there. I'm dumb. So we can burn out the fireball. But that doesn't make the fireball free forever. Yeah, we need to be replaying that uh, fireball. Oh, he's, he's stealthy. Oh, okay. I guess I can drop a heal on myself and nothing else. that now okay are we gonna ash back I suppose we're gonna do a blazing torch here so this fight was not long enough for that uh, skill to be worth it but it didn't uh, sabotage my uh, my play so I guess uh, that was worth mentioning. That is worth mentioning. So just because I put it in, I could still play n play normally. And uh, yeah, maybe it's gonna be okay. That is the only card I saw potential in, and that's 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 a little sad. Alone health points, almost out of cards, and far away from reading the the fucking end of the sentence. What? Too fucking bad. This guy hits harder. Okay. I don't know, I'm a little conflicted because I do want to heal. So this guy will die, I think. I can do burnout, fireball. I do need to pop a healing. Maybe pop that twice. Mm, let's get rid of one of these. <laughs> this is just a warm up. Actually, it is somewhat sabotaging me, because the Burnout is also one extra burn card. Hmm. I haven't even considered that. Well, it's even worse. But it doesn't change the fact that in a long fight it can be, uh... It can increase my, uh... My potential. We gonna draw cards. Of course, it works best with a small deck. Mm. Got a fireball here. Okay, just pass. Oh, that's a skeleton guy. I'll just fireball him.
I do have a lot of rest points. So I don't have to be super concerned. Oh, now we're having uh, the big fight. Uh-oh. I cannot upgrade my health. Or, I can. I can. Uh, let's upgrade that. Uh, there's nothing to craft. We know that for a fact. We can actually sell some recipes we have, and we... Oh boy, we got a lot of trash. We can gain some... Oh, wait. Oh, we can remove potions. What is this? No. No. That's the one. Remove that. So we can buy three potions, but in order to do that, we will need to sell some recipes. And oh boy, let me tell you, I got some... Some bad ones. Wait, what? This is a fireball plus? Oh, from here, we can tell which one can be upgraded? It says fireball plus, and I know that can be upgraded. So this means nothing else can be upgraded here? Wait, so in a way we can check which, which card can be upgraded? It says fireball plus. Wait, that doesn't need pyrobomb on the selected opponent. This is like destined to be garbage or what? It seems like that. Banner of Octavius? What? Wait a second. Oh yeah, I, I need a potion of life. Well, we're gonna pick that up. I think. Yeah, what are we selling? Ooh, we, we don't have a lot to sell, though. I thought, thought I was, like, real good. Ah, oh, it's trash, 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 too. Oh, that's bad. Every applied burn. We would draw that. Sell some stun bombs. Okay, I don't have as many uh, scrolls that I, as I thought. Apparently it's gonna be a, a trickier proposition that I... No, I don't want that. I, I do want to increase my chances of winning. Okay, we need to sell two more. It shouldn't be a hard decision, considering that I called all of them garbage. But by making this uh, choice, uh, I ordered to commit to never using these, or likely using them a lot later. Okay. So we're gonna buy health potions. Wait, does he have three of them? Oh, I see. So we will not be buying potions. So he's selling three of them, but it, I can still only get one. Well, I guess we learned that. I have a lot of HP. Wait, so it cost me 70 gold to buy one health potion, but it cost me a 180 to increase my health permanently by 10. Well, okay then. I guess we can renew cards here. Goddess of Steers. I mean, it might might have been still a good choice. Uh, what do I know? What? This is a, some derpy imp. Okay, Ash cards are returned. Deal one damage to the player six times every six turns. Okay. Sure. Uh oh. That looks questionable. Okay, I'll definitely keep uh, kick that. Let's do burnout. 
on a fireball. Then do liquid fire and healing bomb. Mm, let's kick this. I have more cards. 66 damage. I, I would rather not get hit for that much. I think he's not gonna hit me. Applies 15 damage. Applies bleed, poison and br or burn on the target. Now, that is something that is worth considering just get rid of. We can do Burnout again on the Fireball. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Let's Liquid Fire him. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah. Ah, fine. You're getting hit now. Mm, I don't really care too much about that. So we have now free fireball here. Yeah, this healing pyro bomb is is not great. It doesn't fit my deck. I mean, it's heal, but it's also not a super efficient heal. He's dead. I guess I don't have to be uh, careful with my cards. Still, I guess he's dead. Wait. Wow, we got him. Where does all this hatred come from, I wonder? I think the persecution of mages has nothing to do with it. Not every mage retaliates their offenders. I'm not a victim, priest. I don't believe in martyrdom, and I don't rely on the higher powers. Eye for an eye. No need to wait for an afterlife. This world never allowed me to be me. But one day I allowed that to myself. I fear your war leads oh nowhere. God. And where does your war lead, Master? <gasps> Being a hero? Bathing in glory and regalia? I act in the interest of a greater good. Our world is far from being perfect, and it needs those who can make it better. Thank you. Like me. People always seek a personal gain. This is how we are built. And you are no exception, Master. You, self-satisfied heroes, think you are better than others. And your grand deeds are but a means of maintaining that sweet illusion. I won't indulge your insolence. No need to. One day you'll meet the true you, face to face, without the hero guys. And you won't like your own reflection. Okay, you're awfully certain that this old guy who's uh, pretending to be a hero but clearly evil and uh, using you as a puppet because you have no, no, well, you have nothing else going on, I suppose. Well, I wouldn't necessarily disagree that uh, people are inherently selfish, but at the same time, it's not necessarily the case because people are also driven for communities. And uh, we're also social. Social, but selfish. So, <laughs> take it as you want. The ones who want salvation will save themselves. It happened to me. And so it will happen to any other oppressed who craves to become themselves. 
Your world will be saved only when everyone in it will do their own saving and spill the blood of an offender. All right. Well, that's kind of a survival bias there. Not not all oppressed can save themselves. I mean, I certainly encourage that. But it kind of depends on the scenario. You know no forgiveness, child of fire. And that is why you won't find peace. May the flames bless your soul when the hour of the reckoning comes. I can't help but feel Ashmaster that you are a bad influence on me. <laughs> you know no forgiveness, child of fire, and that's why you won't find peace? Holy fuck, man! And you pretend to be the the good guy. I guess I guess he's not really pretending to be the good guy necessarily, but still, he's he's very clear in the fact that he's using us for uh, for uh, what he considers to be good. The closer we are to the goal, the more corpses and lost souls I see. I now have doubts. Maybe the master is right, and we, the outcasts. Have gone too far in our vengeance. You know no forgiveness. How would he know? Who caused more harm to whom? The world to us, or the other way around? I don't have an answer. I break the curse, but what's next? The people will put a price on my head again. This war will never end. There must be another way. Kill everybody! Perfect. It, it's kind of pointless to uh, think about who caused more harm. I don't know. The I don't think this story is meant is to be taken by. too seriously. Judging by the abundance of corpses around, we reach the burial grounds. A place where the murderers and the poor are interred. The place that fell <gasps> under the influence of the curse first. Murderers and the poor. This land is one gigantic cemetery. At its heart, there is a communal grave where murderers, traitors to the crown, and heretics are buried. Buried without last rites, just bodies tossed down the bottomless pit. Sounds great. The curse gave this place a new life, raising the hordes of skeletons, ghouls, and other undead from their graves. Wait, I feel the earth tremble under our feet. <gasps> As if something massive is stomping on it. Wow, that was very, very convincing. <clears throat> the curse gave life to... <laughs> the curse gave this place a new life, raising the hordes of skeletons, ghouls, and other undead from their graves. Wait! <laughs> you you sounded very surprised, Ashmaster. Whoa! I, you, you totally caught me off guard there. Whoa! All right. The undertakers who managed to escape the clutches oh, of the undead no. tell stories not what about the say. giant that rose from that communal grave. I now believe these rumors to be true. Let us find a safe place to set up a camp and prepare to battle the giant. Let me guess, we're going to be in the middle of a cemetery? Uh, okay, we have I guess the merchant is relevant. Piercing fire, I like this. Uh, scroll of supremacy. Or, I should say, supremacy. Uh, why? So, okay, we're not buying potions because they're too expensive. Restore one health point for each card in your battle deck. I mean, this would be okay if we have a big battle deck, and we do have right now a big battle deck. But this is only the battle deck, so if we use this with max amount of cards, we get 14. But if we use this with zero amount of cards, we get zero. So the average heal of this would be a 7. So that's not the best. <clears throat> okay, there's not much we can do here. Wait, we might wanna actually... Allows you to buy two rare, rare recipes each day from the merchant. Huh. So he will offer more more stuff. Okay. 
but currently I'm I'm mostly hunting for commons. I guess I can wait. Did I buy it? I guess I just want to buy the the health upgrade above all. Do I want to buy the piercing fire? Would I craft it? Should I craft it? I suppose burnout was not completely hopeless, but the healing power bomb is pretty bad. I just need everything that just deal fire damage and and punish people for fire damage. And healing power bomb is like, eh, just it's just not really worth it. It's a little slow too. Well, thing thing is, the more uh, the more cards I have, let's buy this. Uh, let's craft it. Piercing fire. The pure fire, uh, yeah, free burns. I mean, this would be good, but this is useless if we already applied some fire to the enemy. This would be better for someone who doesn't do any fire at all. But for someone who stacks fire like crazy, this is only good if I get it at the very start. And even then, if I get it later, then it just sucks. So unplayable. I can just craft a fireball, but like, ugh, I don't wanna. All right, let's leave camp. Let me guess, big ass uh, graveyard. Oh, look at that, I was right. And anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, we managed to uh, kick the ass of another boss. And we are now in the graveyard. Burial Grounds Day 1. So. I don't know how many uh, chapters this game has. I, I do think it gets a little repetitive at times. But uh, I'm a little curious. Because the first chapter was super easy. But the second actually offered... A fair bit of challenge, so... And, uh... I'm mostly concerned about the cards. It seems like I'm not uh, advancing my deck in any way. I just... I'm just committed to one strategy right now. And it kind of makes sense to uh, keep committing to it. Because I have to just mix it up. It doesn't really work so well. Piercing fire and just burn people and be piercing fire. And if... Unless if I... Unless I'm forced into something else. Let's just say, like, I run into some fire immunes. Uh, like bird immunes, what I should say, uh, then I guess I won't be making too many changes, at least not planning to. Healing Bomb, I would like to get like one or two more of. I think that would help a lot. Blazing Torch, we certainly uh, can't burn. Uh, I would burn it, probably. Healing Firebomb just doesn't really fit the strats. Anyway, guys, that's it. See ya.